Right now, more on President Biden's major announcement in Racine and the future of the failed Foxconn site. Plus, new polling out of Quinnipiac shows one candidate pulling ahead in the head-to-head -head race for president in Wisconsin. We'll tell you who. And it is a wet start to our Thursday morning. We've got some light rain across southern areas of the state. We'll see how long this lasts coming up. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for waking up with us on a rainy Thursday. I'm Shane Hogan. I'm Chris Stanford. It is a bit rainy out there. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, coming up, Josh Brider's live on State Street. Uh, a little bit of changes on State Street since the, the grand closing this week. That's right. So we have Madison Night Market coming up. Coming back tonight. A little bit of rain to contend That's with, though. Right. Kelly's telling us, though, it's not going to be a total washout. No, it looks like a lot of the rain that we've been seeing this morning overnight uh, is uh, going to be winding down a little bit going into the late afternoon and evening. But we are seeing some of this light rain here at Platteville, our Queen Bee Radio Sky Cam. A drippy morning, but once you get north of Madison, especially toward the Dane County line, really not much rain headed northward toward the Adels, but pretty steady rain. And it's not moving much where you're if you're seeing moderate rain, it's not it's uh, continuing to be moderate where you're seeing light rain it continues to be light. But we've seen this uh, steady band of some moderate rain there in Mount Horeb and western parts of Dane County. Uh, if you go north of Madison, not seeing much in Wanakee, DeForest and also Sun Prairie, a few sprinkles in Cottage Grove and also down to the south. So we are looking at some uh, steady light rains this morning. Occasionally some moderate rain, basically Madison areas to the south. But as we go through the morning hours, this will start to kind of uh, work itself out and start to dissipate a little bit going into the afternoon. But it's going to be a cool day with temperatures only in the up, upper 50s to around 60. We'll be back in the mid 60s tomorrow on Saturday and even 70s it looks like by Mother's Day. All in all, it should be a pretty decent weekend. Just can't rule out a couple of chances of showers and we'll talk more about that coming up. 54 right now in Middleton, Wanakee 54, 54 in Fitchburg. So the best chances of rain coming in today diminishes tonight and Friday. Another batch of showers Friday night. I think another chance Sunday night, but in between during the daylight hours should be dry most of this weekend. Uh, 53 right now at the airport. The winds are out of the northeast and those winds will pick up, making it feel cool throughout the day with some steady light rains this morning, gradually becoming more scattered later today. Talk more about, more about the weekend forecast coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. A new artificial intelligence data center is coming to Wisconsin. And it's planned for the same site as the failed Foxconn project. Our political reporter Will Keneally has more from the president's big announcement. He and the administration promised a $10 billion investment by Foxconn to build a new manufacturing complex, create 13,000 new jobs. President Biden, speaking near Racine Wednesday, said he hoped the Microsoft plant set to be built there will be a do-over for the area after Foxconn fell flat. In fact, he came here with your senator, Ron Johnson, literally holding a golden shovel, promising to build the eighth wonder of the world. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look what happened. Microsoft said Wednesday it plans to invest more than $3 billion into the area to expand its AI infrastructure capacity. That means new jobs for the southeastern Wisconsin region. 2,000 permanent workers to work in the data centers. In addition, we're also providing a pipeline to train these for new, these new jobs. A pipeline that starts right here at this very spot. Manufacturing in many ways started in the upper Midwest. It started in Wisconsin. There's a legacy of innovation, but it's also a place where people, I think, get things done by working together. This, of course, comes as the president is running in a tight race for re-election. We're seeing a great American comeback story all across Wisconsin and, quite frankly, the entire country. Will Keneally reporting there after the event, Biden traveled to Chicago for a fundraiser. Reaction is flowing in from both sides of the aisle from Biden's visit and the Microsoft announcement. U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin posted on X to praise the move, saying, quote, Wisconsin is the obvious choice for Microsoft. We have a second to none workforce, a proud tradition of innovation and high quality of life. This is welcome news. Meanwhile, Republican Congressman Brian Stile said this. President Biden should stop at a grocery store and talk to Wisconsin workers whose cost of living is up over 18 percent. While the Biden administration's policies are driving inflation higher, I will continue working to make Wisconsin a greater place for private investments that create jobs. Well, new polling shows that President Biden is moving the needle in Wisconsin. A new Quinnipiac poll of registered Wisconsin voters finds President Biden leading former President Trump. According to the poll, President Biden leads Trump 50 to 44 percent in a head-to-head -head matchup. When other candidates are included, the poll shows a virtual tie at the top with Biden at 40 and Trump at 39. This follows a recent Marquette Law School poll 
which showed a much closer presidential race in the state. Wisconsin Democrats are also focusing on regaining control of the state Senate. They have announced plans to spend $7 million on TV ads in what they consider to be five key races. The state Senate Democratic Committee says they are targeting races in areas around Madison and Milwaukee, as well as the Fox Cities, Green Bay, and La Crosse. Republicans currently hold a supermajority in the state Senate, but Democrats hope the new district boundaries will help them narrow that gap. A spokesperson for the Senate Majority Leader, Devin Lemahue, did not immediately respond to a request for comment. House Speaker Mike Johnson is still holding the gavel this morning after a fellow Republican lawmaker tried to take him down. As CBS's Jared Hill reports, Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's proposal faced vocal pushback from within her own party. Gentlewoman is recognized. Republican Rep Marjorie Taylor Greene making good on her threat to force a vote to oust House Speaker Mike Johnson. Resolve that the office of the Speaker of the House of Representatives is hereby declared to be vacant. The attempt met with boos as more than 100 Democrats joined Republicans to save the Speaker. Only 11 Republicans sided with Greene. Top Democrat Hakeem Jeffries called it a vote to avoid chaos. Everybody. We need to move forward as a Congress to solve problems for everyday Americans. The push to remove the speaker came about three weeks after Johnson helped pass a bipartisan spending package that included money for Ukraine, a provision Green and other right-wing Republicans opposed. Hopefully this is the end of the personality politics and the frivolous character assassination that has defined the 118th Congress. Now as Green remains defiant, fellow Republicans are denouncing her tactics. Uh, this type of tantrum is absolutely unacceptable and it does nothing to further the cause of the conservative movement. Before the vote, former President Donald Trump posted on social media that with November elections around the corner, now is not the time to oust the speaker. Uh, this right, as the GOP CNN works to maintain Green, and expand the razor-thin majority. Jared Hill, and that CBS News. Johnson, a once unlikely choice for speaker, took the gavel after Republicans helped remove Kevin McCarthy from the same role in a historic vote last fall. Happening today, the Biden administration is expected to unveil a way to tighten U.S. immigration. It wants a rule change to help officials quickly deny the asylum claims of ineligible migrants. It's not a major overhaul, but it is a tightening of existing immigration policies. The proposal will soon enter a public comment period. It comes as the president's facing some pressure to take executive action on border security. The criminal trial against former President Donald Trump will continue today. Adult film star Stormy Daniels will return to the witness stand. She testified on Tuesday with her own detailed account of an encounter she had with the former president back in 2006. Trump is accused of falsifying business records around a hush money payment to hide that alleged affair. With the trial progressing, the former president was asked on Spectrum News if he would be willing to testify. Do you plan to testify in court? Uh, probably so. I would like to. I mean, I think so. Trump has denied both the affair and any wrongdoing. In more local news now, a new initiative hopes to move nurses even more quickly into the workforce. It comes as Wisconsin continues to see a nursing shortage. The Department of Safety and Professional Services is behind the plan. It's worked with 14 Wisconsin universities and technical colleges to create a system to allow students to complete their national nursing exam early. This will streamline the path to getting licensed to practice in Wisconsin. And not long after they pass the exam and graduate, they can start working. You want certainty and we're here to provide that to you. So every student who completes their, uh, uh, their national exam early is going to get a letter from us saying within three days, three business days of receiving confirmation from your school that you've graduated, you're going to have a license in hand. It gives me the opportunity to start working as soon as I want after graduation, which I know a lot of my peers at Edgewood are also super excited for. The Department of Safety and Professional Services said this new initiative won't shortchange any safeguards in place when it comes to preparing nurses. Instead, it changes the order of the process. Well, it was a little rainy as we were walking in, and we know Kelly was experiencing some rain when he was out on the patio. Kelly, what's coming up? Yeah, we still got the uh, light rain falling across uh, southern areas of the uh, state. So we'll track when and we can expect that to dissipate coming up. And ahead in your morning sports, who would take two out of three in the series between the Brewers and the Royals? 
Plus, it's the unofficial kickoff to summer events right here on State Street. Coming up live in the 608, we're talking about the Madison Night Market making its return. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Brought to you by Toyota. Summer's here, and with a new Toyota, you can capture all the moments that make summer, summer. Like driving a RAV4 to wade in a waterfall. Nice. Cruising to play mini golf in a Camry. <laughs> or taking a Tundra to the beach. You're not gonna leave me here, are you? <laughs> right now, you can lease a sporty new Toyota RAV4 for 309 a month. See your local Toyota dealer today, or visit toyota.com to learn more. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweeto Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Owning my own home is nice. You can just come home knowing that it's yours. It's a sense of pride, sense of ownership, and enjoying it with everyone I love and care for. Make a lasting impact on local families in need. Please donate today. Wow, you've really made our dreams come true. Life's better when you're under our roof. It's... Because when you feel totally protected, you can enjoy the dreams you've worked so hard to achieve. I guess that's what American Family Insurance is for. He's the wise twin. I'm talking about Save up to 23% when you bundle home and auto with American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figaro is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. Try it this Mother's Day for only $14.95. Plus, get free shipping. Visit plexadermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. You've got this. You didn't think your sister would take you up on the dog sitting offer, but here you are. Barriers purchased. Doggy distractions, no expense spared. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with $50 overdraft gray zone. So when you have to make a purchase or seven to prepare, you can be sure we're looking out for you so you can look out for him. You've got this with Associated Bank. Ordinary is the opposite of beautiful. Because beauty excites. It energizes. It drops our jaws. Dilates our eyes. Makes us look twice. A beautiful home, a beautiful life, is something we create. And we can start right now at Floor & Decor. News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Oh, it's time to see what's going on in the 608 this morning. We're talking about the Madison Night Market because it returns tonight for the 2024 season. That's right. Our Josh Prider is live downtown with what you can expect this year. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. Thankfully, we have a little awning to stand under this morning with a little bit of light rain, but that isn't going to stop all of the fun from happening here on State Street later today. The Madison Night Market making its return for the 2024 season, and this year you can expect more than 110 artisans and local vendors right here. And for the first time this year, the Madison Night Market is expanding to North Carroll and West Mifflin Streets on Capitol Square, in addition to State and Gilman Streets, where we are this morning. The energy and vibrancy of the Madison Night Market Market continues to grow and the business improvement district is excited to welcome the entire community to kick off the summer event season in the heart of downtown vendors mix with existing state street retailers to showcase handmade products local art gifts artisana foods and fresh produce the event includes live music special visiting food carts and pop-up restaurant experiences 
Here's a look at the dates of Madison Night Market this year. Again, they run once a month on Thursdays from 5 to 9 p.m. After tonight, more are planned for June 13th, August 8th, September 12th, and October 17th. All this information can be found on Channel3000.com, including a link to a schedule of performers this year. Back out here live again tonight, 5 o'clock. Things will be kicking off down here, downtown. After yesterday, the unofficial closing of State Street, we're going right into those summer events. And coming up around 642, you guys we're going to be speaking live to the uh, Madison Central Business Improvement District just about how big 2024 is going to be this year guys little singing and dancing in the rain this morning <laughs> Maybe see what you got. No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Uh, it's exciting. Exciting stuff for downtown Madison for sure. Yep. Thanks, Josh. Hey, Josh is always looking for some inspiration to share with everyone at home. If you have an idea that would be good for TV, we'd love to hear about it. Send them an email or find them on social media. All right, back outside on our weather patio this time. Kelly Slifka is there. Hey, Kelly. Yeah, good morning, guys. It's uh, still raining, as you can <laughs> guess. Uh, yeah, we've got the light rain here continuing to fall. It's not quite as heavy, if, as, if you will, uh, as it was maybe last half hour, but still kind of drippy out here. We've got this uh, steady area of rain across southern areas of the state. Very slow moving system just uh, moving through the Ohio Valley really produced a lot of severe weather again unfortunately across the middle of the country. Uh, thankfully that will tame down and move on to the east but for us we're on the uh, back side of the system the surface trough basically uh, a directional sh a shift in our winds uh, right now that's why we're on the northern side of it, and that's why we're seeing this light rain but it does cut off pretty quickly as you get north of Dane County. But uh, some, some of the areas have seen this moderate rain. You can see those yellows now up toward Mount Horeb. It has lightened up, as I mentioned, here on the southwest side of Madison, down toward Verona. But some moderate showers down there toward Monroe and Monticello, lifting to the north and east, maybe hitting at southern areas of Dane County here shortly. All right, we've got this elongated trough. You can see this river of air coming in from Canada, dipping all the way down toward the desert southwest. Then it moves into the mid-Atlantic state states is bringing us some cooler weather today and also unsettled weather when you have that a quick contrast between cool and warm air and we'll still be a little bit unsettled going into the weekend but i think most of the daylight hours should be dry we'll have a chance of some showers it looks like uh, tomorrow evening then another chance it looks like by sunday evening but generally dry as i mentioned for most of the uh, daylight hours going into saturday and sunday we will we'll be warming up uh, going into uh, next week all right, our first warm forecast, we're looking at the uh, showers gradually decreasing in widespread nature that we're seeing this morning, but we can still expect a shower or two here today. It's going to be breezy and cool. Temperature struggling to get up to uh, 60. We'll be in the mid 60s, a little bit closer to our average tomorrow and also Saturday. So showers, uh, light rain breaking up gradually as we go through the late morning hours into the afternoon. Occasionally, we'll see some moderate showers here and there. As we get toward the evening hours, all this should be dissipating. We'll be in the 50s and to around 60 today. Starting out dry tomorrow with some clouds, but we'll get into some sunshine. Can't rule out a spotty shower, just enough instability. But I think the better chances of uh, showers will move through, maybe even a thunderstorm between 8 and 9 o'clock here in Madison before moving on to the east. 53 right now in Madison, 55 in Janesville. It's 52 in the Adels with the steady light rain this morning becoming more scattered into the afternoon. Only getting up to 59, 66 tomorrow, looking at some evening showers and storms tomorrow night and another chance Sunday night. But in between, we've got some sunshine, 66 Saturday up to 73 on Sunday. Remember what Casey O'Brien did on the ice last year? Patty Kazmaier Award top three finalist, tallied a school record 50 assists in the season, was second in the nation in points with 73. She was a first team All-American and the USCHO National Player of the Year. Pretty good, right? Well, there was even better news Wednesday for Mark Johnson. O'Brien announced she's coming back to Madison for one final year, and her teammate Katie Kotlowski is also returning. Wisconsin. Well, the Brewers got some good news ahead of their series finale with the Royals. Christian Yelich back in the lineup after missing close to a month with a back injury. And the hero from Game 2's win, Willie Adamas, getting the guys ready. And like in every game this series, the Brewers started hot. William Contreras goes gapping to trade places with Bryce Terang. And the RBI double puts the crew up 1-0. But like in every game this series, the Royals would answer. Bobby Wood Jr. sends a solo shot to left, and check out that fan. That right there is a Brewers mood. Jake catches the home run, but then realizes his team about to lose. Brewers fall 6-4, to four, the final.
What a year it's been for Hillary Blomberg. In her first season in Madison, the Verona native is hitting a team high 349 at the plate with four home runs and 26 RBI. She also set a program freshman record with 13 doubles. So it came as no surprise to see her name first team all Big Ten and to the conference's all freshman team. Well, that challenging stretch we talked about Tuesday begins today for Steve Stricker when he tees off in the region's tradition, a tournament that had a lot of success at. Strick has won it three times, including the last two, all by six strokes. So going into this week, he knows there's a bullseye on his back and everybody's gunning to take down the two-time reigning champ. But Stricker is heading to the links with a different perspective. Obviously, I want to play well and play well enough to get in contention to try to win. But it's, it's, um, it's more about, you know, having that desire to be competitive still, to go through the process, to practice, to get ready. I still enjoy that part. You know, to play well is kind of bonus on top of that. Um, but it's, I've been, I think that's why I've been playing better. And that's it for Morning Sports. Have a great day. Thank you, Zach. You too. Still ahead, some change coming to News 3 now this morning. In our next half hour, the latest from UW-Madison is talks between protest leaders and campus administrators break down what both sides are saying. Wisconsin broadcasters, local, trusted, connected. Have your best summer ever with Bachman's Mother's Day Pool Sale. Save 25% off all in stock above ground radiant pools. Visit our showrooms in Madison and Brookfield and save. Go ahead, relax. It's Bachman's. Get an 11% rebate on everything. Now at Menards. Complete your projects with GE Painters Pro Seal and Paint Caulk. It adheres to most materials, including painted surfaces. Pick it up for only $249 after rebate. Upgrade your existing recessed lighting with energy saving LED downlights from Fight Electric. Go from regular lighting to nightlight mode with a flip of a switch. Get these LED downlights for just $14.99 each after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For Imprint certain? Certainty matters. For Imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. When you need inspiration, it's worth shopping Pick and Save, where you'll find over 30,000 mouth-watering choices with savings beyond low prices. Savings like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump. More savings and more inspiring flavors make Pick and Save worth it every time. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Pick and Save. Fresh for everyone. Sometimes it takes a different approach. Okay, that's Mrs. Johnson, right? Great. To see the possibilities all around you. Ten. You gonna have a big birthday party? All right, are you feeling okay? With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath format, you can earn your nursing degree without putting life on hold. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. Nobody kicks off festival season like Stoughton because nobody runs a festival like Stoughton or crafts a festival like Stoughton. The fact is, nobody eats up a festival like Stoughton. The Sit into My Festival in Stoughton starts May 17th. Have your best summer ever with Bachman's Mother's Day Pool Sale. Save 25% off all in stock above ground radiant pools. Visit our showrooms in Madison and Brookfield and save. Go ahead, relax. It's Bachman's. <laughs> Okay, we're back. A bit of a change here on News 3 Now this morning. Uh, we've told you that 
and you might have heard her on social media. You may have even seen this face before on social media. Uh, this is Kelly's last day on News 3 Now this morning. Uh, over the last 16 months, he's, mm -hmm. he's stepped up and filled in, uh, done such a wonderful job. A pro's pro. And starting tomorrow, woohoo, Savannah Brito. I like the woohoo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Savannah is going to. Is gonna is gonna take over. So we want to get an opportunity to get to know Savannah a little welcome bit. Welcome, Savannah. Yeah, welcome. Happy to have happy. you on the team. I'm happy to be here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, so you're coming from Rockford. Yes. So you're somewhat familiar with this area. Yeah, we forecast for southern Wisconsin, Rock, Walworth, and Greene County. So, and I've been up to Madison plenty of times. Awesome. There you go. Yeah. You're very familiar with with the climate. Uh, so you're uh, tell us uh, where you're from originally, and uh, what made uh, you choose Madison uh, as your next is your next spot yeah, here and what so and us in particular uh, I, on the morning show i came in for the interview loved meeting you guys it just was a warm welcome um i grew up in northern illinois so sycamore it's kind of by northern illinois university okay. um hour 15 west of chicago that's kind of where it is um directly west of chicago um and i just enjoy forecasting severe weather so i'm excited to get to do that but yeah. watch seeing some nice photos i was gonna say what are you looking at my photos for <laughs> well we wanted to get we wanted to send you off the right way and of course welcome savannah at the same time so yeah we've gotten the chance to meet you over the last few weeks uh, after you were hired here and kelly this feels like a, a great transition and of course you're not leaving the station yeah, i'll be still working doing more of a midday shift uh, probably filling in for savannah sometimes during the five o'clock six o'clock here and there four o'clock yeah good and so um can we oh that's right we're gonna we're gonna pass the weather clicker <laughs> yeah and the so, ceremonial gesture here thank you to welcome yeah, yeah. Big shoes to fill, but big slides. <laughs> to fill. We don't show that on air. Here. No. No. No, we, no, we can give that away. Now, Kelly often likes to wear uh, uh, sandals or flip flops. It's very you casual, know, man. Whatever this is not me. You know, if you see me out in public on my bike, you know how I tend to dress typically. So, more That's of a funny. beach bum. Man. Well, in all seriousness, Savannah, yeah, we welcome. are really excited Welcome to have you join so the team. much. Yeah. I'm excited to be here. It's going to be great. Yes. Thank all you, right. Kelly, too. Uh, thank you. It's been a good run. You're welcome. Thank you. We'll have more coming up on News 3 now this morning right after this. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Looking for fitness that fits your budget? Join Planet Fitness. Now through May 10th, you can save big when you join for $1 down and just $10 a month. Cancel any time. That's almost 25% off your monthly membership. Get big fitness energy without the big investment. Never intimidating, always free fitness training. Equipment for every workout. Don't miss out. Join the judgment-free zone today and get energized for $1 down and $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends Friday, May 10th best areas that we found, unfortunately, which is probably the area that people we found were suffering the most, was from tax. Mm -hmm. And so by building this wealth optimization team, right, where we can bring in CFAs, CFPs, tax attorneys, CPAs, and really get to the heart of the matter of, you know, targeted, you know, risk institutionally managed portfolios to specialized indexing strategies to basically helping people make that transition from accumulation to distribution and understand that it's a whole nother game. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. It's easier to manage my chemo side effects since a great supportive care came to see me. They're taking the time to listen and talk about options for feeling better. A grace caring every step of the way. With Spectrum Mobile's Anytime Upgrade, you get to upgrade your phone anytime you want for free, which means you get the best, latest and greatest, most up-to-date technology out there. So say you want a bigger screen, less screen, more storage, less storage, doesn't matter, any color, you can upgrade anytime. And who wouldn't want that? Except for Ryan. And that's a life choice. That's respect. I gotta get back to this. Yeah. Don't wait to upgrade your phone. Get Anytime Upgrade, included with Unlimited Plus from Spectrum Mobile. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at LensCrafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. 
With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. The value, A awesome value, L lots of value, you get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. Let's hit the road. The road to winning at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel Clinton, Iowa. You're just a short drive away from a weekend full of fun, food, and winning. Plenty of slots calling your name, table games too. Or watch and wager on the games in our DraftKings Sportsbook. There's something for everyone at Wild Rose Casino and Hotel Clinton. You'd rather be here. Right now, negotiations between UW and protesters are at a standstill. Whether officials are open to negotiating again today. Plus, as Israel begins attacking Rafa, what President Biden is threatening to do. And it is a, a wet start to the morning. Going to be kind of drippy this morning. We'll see how long this rain will last coming up. Good Thursday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. We've got a lot to talk about today, but we'll start with the weather because it's a little rainy out there today. Yeah, Kelly Slifka, it's kind of an annoyance at this point, huh? Yeah, it's been kind of a steady light rain and nothing real heavy, but occasionally becomes a moderate. It has lightened up a little bit here in Platteville or Queen Bee Radio Sky Cam, but you can still see some of the rain on the lens. And boy, it's looking green, though, that's for sure, with all the on and off rain we've had over the last couple of weeks. Uh, right now, we do have the uh, light Light rain in Massey. You notice how it's trying to move into parts of uh, Columbia County. It's been dissipating as it's lifting to the north. Are seeing some moderate showers over toward Mount Horeb, headed toward Middleton. Some moderate rains. You can see the yellows here toward Monticello. Some moderate rain as well down to the south. Uh, as you get north uh, toward Wanakee, just some sprinkles north of there. Actually, fairly quiet up in Columbia County. Also, Salt County seeing some quiet weather. So most of rain confined from Madison areas to the south. Kind of steady this morning, as mentioned, it's just kind of a, a nuisance for us this morning, so you will need the uh, rain gear. And it's also going to be rather cool. Need that jacket all day long with temperatures only getting close to 60. I think we'll be in the mid 60s tomorrow and also Saturday. A little bit more sunshine and 70s expected by Mother's Day. So it looks like a pretty decent weekend. We will have to dodge a few showers here and there. We'll talk more about that coming up. Uh, 54 in Madison, Middleton, Mazomani currently at 53 as well. Do have that rain chance today. That's the best chance that should diminish the early this evening. Most of tomorrow should be dry, but we do have better chances of rain, at least a period of some rain, maybe some thunderstorms Friday evening. Most of Saturday dry, but Sunday night we are expecting another round of some storms. So the bus stop forecast, yep, there's lots of puddles out there. Make sure they have the rain boots and some rain gear. Temperatures only in the upper 50s this afternoon. More on the weekend forecast, including Mother's Day, coming up. Okay, Kelly, thank you. This morning, UW-Madison officials and pro-Palestine protesters are still at a standstill. The university says negotiations between the two groups broke down yesterday. This as the encampment enters its 11th day. UW says students and faculty protesters walked out of a meeting with admin on Wednesday. Protesters had sent a proposal to admin which included negotiating ethical ways of investment through shared governance. They say UW officials never read it. We really love to be in conversation with the administration. We understand that um, there's a lot of space for conversation, a lot of space for edits, and um, really all we're asking is a good faith conversation rather than a stone wall that is what we're facing right now. UW says there's a misunderstanding about what UW Chancellor Jennifer Mnuchin can actually do when it comes to investments. They say the shared governance mechanism is something that the Wisconsin Foundation and Alumni Association, which is a private nonprofit, would have to take up. On the encampment, rumors swirled that UW had plans to remove tents again Wednesday. That didn't happen, and UW told us those plans were not concrete. Still, officials want the encampment gone. A statement to News 3 Now reads, quote, It remains an urgent campus priority to end the encampment, which is illegal, a violation of student and registered student organization conduct rules, and an increasing safety concern. Those concerns include an increased presence of non-students on the encampment. And right now, UWPD is investigating three incidents on Library Mall within the past two weeks. Last Wednesday, a student with the sign supporting Israel said a man with a knife approached him and said, quote, Jews shouldn't be on this campus. Police are looking into that as a possible hate crime. Then Tuesday afternoon, a student said a man approached him and threatened to kill him if he didn't put away his phone. The third incident happened yesterday morning. UWPD says someone assaulted another person with a large stick during a fight. 
Despite that, UW officials say they're open to talking to protesters again today. Before students and staff were able to walk out of their meeting yesterday, UW proposed getting protesters a meeting with WFAA leaders to hear their concerns. But protesters say that's not enough. If the university believes in the Wisconsin idea, then it should believe in all of us. Because I've seen you all here time and time again, day after day, night after night, in solidarity with the campers here, in solidarity with the people of Holland and I, in solidarity with the children, men, women, students, in Rafa right now. You just heard that student protester mention Rafa. Right now, Israel's invading parts of that region. That's where more than a million Palestinians have sought refuge since the war began last fall. The U.S. announced a pause of a shipment of bombs to Israel last week upon learning of its plans for Rafa. Now, President Biden is warning the country could withhold more weapons. CBS's Jared Hill has more. President Biden issued a warning to Israel last night on CNN, saying the U.S. will withhold some weapons if Israel fully invades Rafa. I've made it clear to Bibi and the War Cabinet they're not going to get our support if, in fact, they go in these population centers. Days ago, Israel launched a series of targeted strikes around the city in southern Gaza, calling it a Hamas stronghold. Yesterday, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin told lawmakers the U.S. has already paused an earlier shipment of thousands of bombs, noting the risk they pose to innocent Palestinians. Our focus is on making sure that we protect the civilians. Austin said the Biden administration is still determining what to do with this shipment, though the president made clear that the U.S. is not turning its back on its ally. We're not walking away from Israel's security, we're walking away from Israel's ability to wage war in those areas. Israel has publicly downplayed the pause, but privately, Israeli officials have expressed deeper frustration to CBS. <laughs> Roughly one and a half million Palestinians have taken refuge in Rafah since the fighting began seven months ago. The Rafah crossing with Egypt closed this week after Israel seized control of the Gaza side. Now fears are growing over the backup of crucial humanitarian aid on the Egyptian side. Israel says it has reopened the vital Karam Shalom crossing days after a Hamas rocket attack there killed four Israeli troops. Jared Hill, CBS News. So far, the U.N. says aid has not entered the reopening cro reopened crossing there. And later today, Students for Justice in Palestine will rally in support of the people in Rafah. They're asking graduating students to show up in their caps and gowns to Library Mall. For the past two weeks, we've brought you live coverage of Library Mall and filling you in up from updates from the Middle East. You can find all of that coverage and stay informed about what happens next between university leaders and students with the free Channel 3000 mobile app. Today marks one year since a condo exploded and collapsed in Madison, leaving this damage. The explosion injured four people and displaced 21 from their homes. Let's take a look at that video, the moment of the explosion. This was near Gammon Road and Park Ridge Drive the evening of May 9th last year. First responders took one person to the hospital. Three others with minor injuries took themselves. The fire department says during their investigation of the explosion, they were not able to find out what caused it. They say a 20-pound propane tank attached to a grill outside has its valve on and was empty, but they don't know what ignited the gas and leading to that explosion. Time is 637, taking a live look at the roads this morning. This is I-3990, where we're tracking some rain for your morning commute, Kelly. Yes, a drippy morning. Some have had some uh, pretty steady rains overnight, while others haven't seen much at all. We'll see how long this will last. Coming up in the first morning forecast. And we're live with the return of the Madison Night Market right here on State Street this evening. Coming up live, we're going to talk about what you can expect in 2024. Get solar and get saving with Olsen Solar Energy in the Madison area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olsen Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you. Learn more at OlsenSolarEnergy.com or give us a call. A lot of law firms claim to be experts at handling injury cases that involve large trucks. But handling one trucking case does not make you an expert on the subject. Experience matters in these cases. 
One local firm has handled 25 trucking cases which resulted in payments over $1 million each, and hundreds of others as well. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Want to instantly look more attractive and years younger? The solution is whiter teeth. But you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five-minute revolutionary treatment. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application. After five minute daily treatments for the next week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power Swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. This is a Power Swab smile. This is a power swap smile. Call, go online, or scan the code on your screen right now to receive 50% off this Mother's Day. You'll also receive the Power Swabs Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will get free shipping. I have active psoriatic arthritis, but with SkyRizzy to treat my skin and joints, count me in. Along with clearer skin, SkyRizzy helps me move with less joint pain, stiffness, swelling, and fatigue. And it's just four doses a year after two starter doses. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine, or plan to. There's nothing like clearer skin and better movement, and that means everything. Ask your doctor about SkyRizzy today. Learn how AbV can help you save. Dealing with consumer issues can be time-consuming and stressful. Need help? News 3 Now comes to the rescue during Call for Action Week. Watch what happened when our Call for Action team stepped in on two difficult cases for local residents. Learn important strategies you can use to protect yourself and your money. Then pick up the phone at a special time to get help with your consumer dilemma. Call for Action Week starts Monday, only on News 3 Now. Moving forward for you. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Time to see what's going on in the 608 this morning. We're talking about the Madison Night Market right. because it returns for the first time tonight uh, for the season. That's right. Very exciting stuff. Our Josh Ryder is live in downtown Madison with what you can expect coming up this year. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, guys. A little rain isn't going to scare us away from enjoying a night here on State Street this evening. The Madison Night Market making its return for 2024. Their first opportunity for you to come on down and support local. This morning, Matt Trammell with Madison Central Business Improvement District is joining us. Matt, good to see you. Good morning. Good to see you. So, rain or shine, you guys are on this evening. We're on rain or shine, yeah. We do expect it to clear up later today, so we're excited to see everybody down here. Five o'clock tonight. So, 2024, you guys are geared up for a really big year, and you guys are still excited. Expanding. Yeah, we expanded. Uh, this has really become one of Madison's premier events. And so uh, we find that we have so many vendors that want in. Uh, we decided to expand up onto Carroll Street and Mifflin Street. So tonight you'll see 110 uh, plus vendors, including uh, really 30 businesses that are already on the street. They come out uh, in front of their store as well. We have uh, 16 food trucks live music in Peace Park, buskers throughout the market. So it's going to be a great night. There really is something for everyone. You know, what are some yeah. of the categories that people can, you know, expect to see down here? Sure. Wow. Uh, it's a lot. It's a big variety. So anything from artisan, handmade crafts, um, art, um, food. There's uh, really too many to mention. Uh, jewelry, candles, but uh, if you go to madisonnightmarket.com, you can find uh, a whole list of every of the, every one of the vendors. Yeah. You know, when you think over the last couple of years, especially local business is booming down here, and it's important yeah. to give these people a little lift up in this time as well. Yeah, and we see that these markets, from the data that we look at, are bringing somewhere between 10 and 15,000 people to the street over a, uh, the span of four hours. So really, what happens is see a lot of people shopping the vendors, then of course they'll go um, to the bars, the restaurants, all of the other retailers that are down here. So it's a really nice mix uh, and it really does well for the businesses that are here. And when you think of this community too, these local businesses are in it together. Like this for is sure. a very special niche down here, but everyone coming out every little bit 
helps these folks. It does, of course, and a lot of these businesses really are the businesses that are um, up and coming. They're trying to grow up and get bigger and, uh, you know, ultimately, hopefully, eventually be on State Street themselves. And not only are you supporting local, you're having a good time, too. These yeah. events are so fun. It is, and this is really the kind of the official kickoff of the summer event season. You know, of course, we'll be having events all throughout the summer, including in the uh, 400 to 600 block pedestrian mall experiment. And so, especially also with the uh, all the families in town for graduation this weekend, we expect a really big night. All right, so I want to throw up a graphic right now with the rest of the dates, because if you can't make okay. it tonight, there still is plenty of time to come out this year. That's right. We'll have another uh, market in June. Uh, August, September, and October, in addition to many other events that we'll be hosting, uh, go to uh, madisonnightmarket.com for all of the d uh, dates or visit downtownmadison.com for all of our events. We'll have that up on channel3000.com, making it nice and easy for folks. All right, Great. 5 o'clock here. This is going to be the place to this be the tonight. the place to be. Matt, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Guys, we'll send it back to you in the studio. I always say that the first Madison Night Market of the year is like the unofficial kickoff to summer here in downtown because this is when we really start to see folks coming on out uh, to help support those local businesses and truly just have a good time, right? Yeah, it is, and they need our support. That's right, and with the grand closing yesterday, you got a little more space to do that. So a lot of happenings in downtown Madison this weekend. Thanks, Josh. Josh is always looking for inspiration to share with everyone in the morning. If you have an idea you'd like to see on TV, Reach out on social media or shoot him an email. All right, time is 645. Kelly Sliff is outside with your first warm weather forecast. Still raining, Kelly. Yeah, still drippy out here uh, now. Uh, it's not coming down quite as heavily as it was about an hour ago, but still just kind of the annoying rain that we're seeing this morning. And it's uh, not raining for everyone. In fact, as you go to the north of Madison, north of Dane County, most of that area has been generally dry other than a few sprinkles. Occasionally, we're seeing some moderate rain, especially off to the west in Mount Horb and then down to the south near Monticello. And it's been kind of uh, the steadier moderate rain has been primarily over the same areas over the last a couple of hours. So maybe actually picking up some decent totals. But you go north of Madison up toward DeForest, up to Marshall Sun Prairie, just a few sprinkles here and there, while the uh, moderate showers are all off to the west near Middleton and Mount Horb and then down to the south. And I think a lot of this will start to wane as we go through the morning hours into the afternoon. So. The best chance of rain coming here this morning become a little bit more scattered going into the afternoon hours and into the evening. It's going to be rather cool and breezy. Need that jacket all day long and just keep that umbrella handy, especially this morning. Temperature struggling to get up to 60 today. I think we'll be closer to average tomorrow and also Saturday with mid 60s and generally dry weather during the daylight hours. We do have a chance of some showers and even some storms rolling through tomorrow evening. We'll track that for you coming up. Meantime, today we do have the light rain here this morning. Notice how it does taper off going throughout the morning hours, but can't rule out some showers just about any time going into the afternoon hours. It's not going to be real heavy. Temperatures once again struggling to get up to a 60. It's also going to be breezy as we get towards sunset. It looks like mostly a ch uh, shower chances should come to an end. Now tomorrow we're looking at partly sunny skies and gradually a little bit more sunshine. Can't rule out a spotty shower in the afternoon, but generally dry weather. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. Now tomorrow evening as we get toward 8, 9 o'clock, we'll look at a, a brief period of some showers and storms rolling through just after dark and that should clear out uh, before midnight. So not lasting a real long tomorrow night. 53 right now in Madison, 51 in Watertown, 52 in Monroe and across Dane County. We've got low 50s, 53 in Sun Prairie and also uh, Wanakee, 53 currently in Cottage Grove, 54 in Oregon. First warm forecast, yeah, not a great day today with the breezy, cool, wet weather. Tomorrow does improve, 66 with some sunshine. We are looking at some uh, late day showers and storms, mainly Friday evening. Uh, generally dry Saturday, but uh, looking at 70s expected by Sunday on Mother's Day. Another round of storms. Mother's Day evening, say after 7 o'clock, that's our chance of seeing some rain. Just be, a, uh, be aware of that. Next week, we're in the low to mid 70s. Looks pretty active by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. All right, Kelly, thank you. Now to some campaign 2024 coverage where a new artificial intelligence data center is coming to Wisconsin. President Joe Biden announced that new facility in Racine as part of his Investing in America agenda. Our political reporter Will Keneally has more on the details of the investment. The administration promised a $10 billion investment by Foxconn to build a new manufacturing complex, create 13,000 new jobs. President Biden, speaking near Racine Wednesday, said he hoped the Microsoft plant set to be built there will be a do-over for the area after Foxconn fell flat. In fact, he came here with your senator, Ron Johnson, literally holding a golden shovel, promising to build the eighth wonder of the world. Are you kidding me? 
Look what happened. Microsoft said Wednesday it plans to invest more than $3 billion into the area to expand its AI infrastructure capacity. That means new jobs for the southeastern Wisconsin region. 2,000 permanent workers to work in the data centers. In addition, we're also providing a pipeline to train these for new, these new jobs. A pipeline that starts right here at this very spot. Manufacturing in many ways started in the upper Midwest. It started in Wisconsin. There's a legacy of innovation. But it's also a place where people, I think, get things done by working together. This, of course, comes as the president is running in a tight race for re-election. We're seeing a great American comeback story all across Wisconsin and, quite frankly, the entire country. That was Will Keneally reporting. We're getting a reaction from Wisconsin Republicans, including a statement from Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. It reads, at Wednesday's exciting announcement of Microsoft's plan to create thousands of more jobs in Racine County has very little to do with President Biden and everything to do with the efforts of local elected officials, local economic development leaders, and Microsoft itself. Time is 6.49 coming up in the morning sprint. Why a La Follette High School student is in jail this morning. We have that and the rest of today's top headlines in the morning sprint. If you've got a little kid turning three soon, let us know. We'll show their picture on TV. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Life's better when you're under our roof. Guess that's what American Family Insurance is for. He's the wise twin. Save up to 23% when you bundle your home and auto insurance today. Are you sure about this? I got this. I watched a video online. Oh. <coughs> I'm good! I'm good! Oof. I can't help you with that bruised ego, but I can help you replace this roof safely. Let the experts at Feldco do the heavy lifting. Right now, get 30% off roofing, plus no interest for one year. Trust the experts and enjoy your home all season long. 30% off roofing ends soon. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. It's Ford SUV season. Time to get out there and take on adventure in a whole new way. Start with great offers on Ford Escape, Explorer, Mustang Mach-E, and Expedition. And experience Ford Blue Cruise hands-free highway driving. Available on select vehicles. It's Ford SUV season. Let's get going. Choose Flex Buy on a new Ford Edge and get 0% APR financing for 66 months plus 1,000 Flex Buy cash. Only at your local Wisconsin Ford dealer best areas that we found, unfortunately, which is probably the area that people we found were suffering the most, was from tax. Mm -hmm. And so by building this wealth optimization team, right, where we can bring in CFAs, CFPs, tax attorneys, CPAs, and really get to the heart of the matter of, you know, targeted, you know, risk institutionally managed portfolios to specialized indexing strategies to basically helping people make that transition from accumulation to distribution and understand that it's a whole nother game. Get up to 60% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals like this brand new Chase with storage that's also a sleeper, just $4.49. This complete wicker set with table, just $8.99. Or get a free ottoman with this sectional. Maybe you're looking for a comfy sofa? That's just $3.99. Up to 60% off list at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. When migraine strikes, do you question the trade-offs of treating? Ubrelvi is another option. It works fast to eliminate migraine pain. Do not take with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Allergic reactions to Ubrelvi can happen. Most common side effects were nausea and sleepiness. Ask about Ubrelvi. It's a great time to have RG Heating and Air Conditioning check your home's furnace system for safety and efficiency. RG services all brands and installs quality train equipment to keep your home running smooth year-round. Call RG Heating and AC today. Life's better when you're under our roof. Guess that's what American Family Insurance is for. He's the wise twin. Save up to 23% when you bundle your home and auto insurance today. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. 
653 time for the morning sprint. Negotiations between pro-Palestine protesters and UW-Madison officials are at a standstill. UW says it made an offer to get protesters a meeting with the Wisconsin Foundation and Alumni Association, who has control over UW's investments. But protesters said that wasn't enough and walked out. UW says it's still open to talk again today. UW police are investigating a possible hate crime near the protest encampment. They say last Wednesday a man approached students who was carrying a pro-Israel sign on Library Mall. He told the student, quote, Jews shouldn't be on this campus. That's one of three incidents police are looking into since the encampment began. An 18-year-old high schooler is in jail after bringing a gun to school. A staff member at La Follette told police they'd heard a student brought a gun in their backpack. In the student's bag, officers found a gun, bullets, and a scale. The student allegedly lunged toward the gun as police arrested him. Police are now trying to figure out if that gun was used in an armed robbery. We now know the name of the Beloit police officer who shot and killed a man last month. Officer Nicholas Roddenbeck has been with the department since 2021. He shot and killed 33-year-old Michael Ward April 28th on Ashland Avenue. Police say Ward had two bladed weapons and was walking towards someone. Roddenbeck shot after police asked Ward to drop his weapons. Rodbeck is on administrative leave. Today, Donald Trump will be back in court for his criminal election interference trial. We're expecting to hear more testimony from Stormy Daniels. Prosecutors say Trump falsified business records when he had his lawyer pay her not to speak about an affair they had. A new Quinnipiac poll of Wisconsin registered voters finds President Biden leading former President Trump. 50 to 44% in a head-to-head -head matchup. The margin of error in this poll is 2.6 percentage points. House Speaker Mike Johnson remains in his position this morning. This after the House quickly rejected Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's effort to oust him from office. The chamber voted to kill her resolution 359 to 43. Greene brought the resolution against Johnson over his role in passing bipartisan funding for Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan. The Palmer Candy Company recalling its white-coated confectionery items. It's because of a potential salmonella threat. The FDA says the affected products were sold nationwide to distributors in at least 17 states, including Wisconsin. Consumers who purchased the items are advised to return them for a full refund. The Department of Safety and Professional Services is launching a new initiative to help the workforce. The system allows students to complete their national nursing exams early. The department hopes this will streamline the process of getting licenses to students looking to practice here in Wisconsin. All right, just a few minutes away from a 7 o'clock, a drippy, dreary morning with some showers. Uh, this will become less and less as we get into the afternoon hours, but still just keep that umbrella handy. Temperatures cool in the upper 50s to around 60 as we will look at a nice Friday with 66, 66 Saturday and Mother's Day not looking bad. Want to show you our first warning traffic because we do have an accident uh, backing up two lanes, left lanes on those southbound lanes right there at I 90, 94. You can see the red on the map indicating some of that slow traffic headed toward Madison. All right, Kelly, thank you. We're back with another news and weather update coming up in 30 minutes.